who has been a very good day once again everybody here uh, i welcome all of you to my channel once again please if you are new to my channel as i always say you subscribe to it because a lot going to happen on this channel and if you are already subscribed thank you very much continue watching my videos like comment and share my videos all right let me make it quick today we are going to look at how to manually save record on a form uh, using a button and a VBA. What I'm trying to say is we all know, or some of us, not everybody I can say or I can tell, uh, some of, most of us know that access is auto save. Like when you input anything on a form and you just close the form, automatically the record will be saved in a table. Uh, this is what I mean. Let's look at this. I have a student form here, a student form list, this one. So I'm going to add some students. Let's see, we pick the ID, which is um, 4020690, sorry, 001. All right, so we put the name, I'm going to use my name, Solomon. Uh, Solomon Ago, that's my name. Oh, sorry, <laughs> what's happened? Uh, okay, then the gender is male. Uh, I have no button for this, so I'm going to leave the picture. We choose the class, uh, DS9. We take the department, which is junior high, status is active. All right, so let's see what I'm talking about now. When you close this form. Uh, it is going to automatically save the record. Let's see. Uh, let's pick the ID, which is 4020-69001. Okay, I've written it down. Let me close it. Then we open student form. And let's search for the ID. I just put in, see whether you'll find it. Fastest automatically save that record. So we have 40. Oh, boom, it's here. You don't need to type much. 4020-69001. Then it is active. And then, yeah. Okay, so I don't want this. I want to make it manually. Like when I click on a button before the record save, if I close the record, if I close the form, I don't want the record to be saved. So how do we do that? All right, let's get into it. So I'll close this and open this one. I'll go to design view. Then I will go to update before update. We come here before update. My before then come here and then write something. I will say private. Sorry, private private m save manual save as boolean okay so um, all right so i have this then under the before update i will say if m save equal false then something should happen then you will say um cancel you cancel say cancel equal true then you will say me dot undo yes me dot undo me dot undo then you will say cancel um cancel equal force as we go force right okay then you will see and if all right so this code is going to prevent the form from saving even when you close it it's going to prevent it from saving now let's see what is it going to do so then we open the form Okay, so I'm going to input another record and see whether we get it. So 40, 
20 All right, so I'm going to choose one of my colleagues' name. Say, don't worry. Uh, Yao Daniel. All right. Then, Neil BS9 Junior High Active. Okay, so let's see whether this form will save when we close it. So let me close it and let me go back to student form and try to search uh, 40. Boom. So we don't have any record for 40, 20, 69, 002. So you can see it is not here. It didn't save. So that is uh, that is fantastic. Now, let's see how we can save. Most importantly, what we are going to do now, and that is the manual save, in the sense of the video. All right, so I will go back to my ad form. Then I'll go to design view. So I'm going to use the button to save the form. So I'll click on this and go to after, uh, on click events. Then I will say, M save equal true very simple m save equal true then i will say do cmd i want to hear sound do cmd dot bip all right you can add a message to that of course save successfully or something like that so i'll say click on here save and let's go back all right so let's close this one let's open it first so i'm going to use the same code which is 40 20 690 right then i will go to um, student name the same yao daniel yao daniel then the gender i'm going to pick male i'll pick class to be bs9 our selection should be junior high and status is active so when i click this now let's close the form and see whether the record has been saved close let's go to student form and try to search for 40 20 yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. very simple wow so it's here now we have 40 20 69 0, 2. that is the record we just added all right so very nice very nice very nice all right so i'm going back let's do some more uh, fun here make more fun uh, i'll go to a student then uh, okay I just want to make something here. Let me change the form name. It's very long. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want that in my. Okay, so we say add student. Student is good like that. Now I just need this one so that I can remember. Not add student. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will go to add student design view. Now I want to close the form when the. Uh, okay, so after the VIP, I will say do cmd do cmd dot close yes so this will close the form automatically uh, i just want to close the form so i'll close the form say save and then close it and let's close and open now let's add another student and see if, see what will happen so we say 40 20 69 003 as the next student and I will say, uh, Arintos, sorry, Arintos, man. All right. Okay, so we have male, the class, the same class, BS9, section, junior high, and it's active. Then we say, okay, boom, the form closed. Now let's go and check in the student form, if you come here. Then we say 40, 20, yo, 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 wow. So we have the, the record we just add, which is uh, Arintos man and active. Yes, we have it here. So I don't know why it's breaking that. All right, so let's go back. Let's close this one. Um, 
you can drive for more okay so folks and friends uh that is how you do manual save uh, that is you try to do it on your own that acts uh, let nurses do the saving for you that is the for saving is closed now so let me go through it again i don't know all right, so please, uh, I want you to like my video and share. This is very interesting. You can apply them on your access if you want to do it. So before updates, you put in this code here. And then uh, if you want to save the record, the button you are going to do is AM save. You can add message here. You can do a lot of things here uh, also. All right, so I will end here with my video. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Give me more subscribe like and share that is a lot for me okay thank you very much i'll see you in the next video bye bye